William and Francis Hausner opened a restaurant at 3242 Eastern Avenue in 1936 that would become Baltimore's most celebrated and one of the most unique in America. William had been a chef at a restaurant and an art museum in Nuremberg before he immigrated to the United States and opened a lunchroom in Highlandtown in 1926. He combined his love of food and art in his new restaurant when the young couple purchased their first painting, the Venetian flower vendor, on their fourth wedding anniversary in 1939 and hung it in the restaurant. They began collecting European and American 19th century art that eventually filled every wall and included works by Rembrandt and Whistler. Patrons came not just for the art, but for the menu of over 100 items that included German dishes, exotic items, fresh seafood, and Maryland specialties. Desserts were prepared daily and were a highlight of any meal, especially the strawberry pie. The Hausners demanded the best service for their customers and they built a team of dedicated waitresses in white uniforms who began their shift every day folding napkins and setting tables. In 1961, when this film was shot for the port that built a city, the staff would serve 1,500 to 1,700 meals on a typical Saturday night. A dinner plate couldn't be served until it had a sprig of fresh parsley. Another famous feature of Hausner's was its stag bar for men only that included a large painting of a nude woman hanging over the bar. Notice the waitresses giving the drink orders to the bartenders through a port in the wall. As a reporter, Mrs. Bentley may have been one of the few women to ever enter Hausner's bar to do this interview with veteran mixologist Adam Savorsky. How to use these many imported wines and liqueurs is a real art. It's an art that takes a lot of practice. Adam Savorsky, who is a mixologist, and who's been doing it for some, how many years? 20, Adam? 26 years. 26 years is going to tell us how he applies this art to getting the best use out of the many imported wines and liqueurs that are used at Hausner's restaurant. Adam, how long do you say it takes for a person to learn uh, the art to, uh, to become uh, quite adept at it so that he knows which liqueurs, which wines to use at which time? Well, it takes about a year. The fellow puts down his mind to it and he wants to learn the business to take a good year. It isn't something you can just uh, take up immediately and be a hot shot at. No, ma'am. Very definitely. That's an interesting point, I think. Now, what are some of the most interesting drinks that uh, you make out of imported items? Well, you your Benedictine and brandy, which consists of Benedictine and brandy floated on top. Incidentally, do you know uh, what Benedictine is made out of? Well, it's a secret formula. It's made by the monks, which is called a monastery-type cordial. And what country does this come from? It comes from France. Adam, if you were making a guess, would you say that chartreuse and or benedictine are made out of grapes or some other fruit or maybe some vegetable? No, chartreuse or benedictine is made from herbs, which is a secret formula, which no one knows. Are all these herbs grown in France where the monks make these? They're probably grown all over the world. And then they, in turn, would import them into France, and we import the... Uh, finished product over here. That is true. Sadly for many Baltimoreans, Hausner's served their last meals in September 1999 and closed. Their famous art collection was sold at auction at Southby's and brought over $10 million from bidders that included British rock star Rod Stewart and Baltimore's own Helen Bentley. <laughs>